Officers say a Cleveland woman did not have to die. Elisa Harrisford was rushed to Metro Health Medical Center after she was shot last week, except the Cleveland Clinic was just blocks away. News Channel 5 investigator Sarah Butterson is live at the clinic. Why did paramedics take her to Metro Health, Sarah? Leon, last week, Elisa Harrisford was looking out her second floor window here on East 95th Street when she was hit by a stray bullet. Cleveland EMS says they made the right call when they took her to Metro Health Medical Center. But today, a group of protesters questioned why Elisa wasn't just taken to the hospital that's down the street. Protesters marched to the Cleveland Clinic this morning, led by her fiance, Michael Blue. The group of community activists say Elisa Harrisford might be alive if she was treated here. I'm looking at it. You turn this corner and you get right there two seconds away. I mean, at least to sustain her, to, to be able to at least give her a fighting chance. Michael says the 44 year old mother of three glanced out a second story window of her East 95th Street home after hearing gunfire Wednesday morning and was hit in the hip by a stray bullet. Paramedics decided to take her miles away to Metro Health Medical Center, even though the Cleveland Clinic's main campus is a few blocks away. Alisa died before she reached Metro Health. We got a hospital sitting right there. I know that they don't have, they not a serious, whatever trauma center, but it's a hospital and it's something that's serious. I think that it should have been a way that we could at least access that, that, that avenue. We want to take them to the closest, most appropriate hospital. And for this patient, for her best chance of survival, the only chance she had was to get her to a trauma center. Nicole Carlton is in charge of Cleveland's ambulance services. She says Elisa's gunshot wound meant she needed to see a trauma surgeon immediately. And the only place to find one is Metro Health. But Michael still wonders whether a stop at the world class hospital near his door would have made a difference. You know. That would have been just really great. You know, it may have saved her life. A Cleveland Clinic spokesperson says the hospital's doctors do sometimes stabilize patients before sending them to other hospitals. Cleveland EMS says in Elisa's case, paramedics weren't doing anything differently than the doctors would have done at Cleveland Clinic that she really needed to get to Metro Health. On your side, I'm investigator Sarah Buttison, News Channel 5. You get the idea this is going to continue in an investigation, uh, Sarah? In terms of how the patient was treated, it seems pretty cut and dry. There's no word that there would be any investigation into why she was taken to Metro Health Medical Center. We were trying to find out a little bit more about the procedures about when gunshot victims are taken straight to Metro Health and when they might be taken to another hospital first. But we weren't able to get any clear answers today about Elise's case because someone would still have to review that. But again, at this time, we aren't aware of any investigation taking place into her death. Sarah Buttison, thank you.